Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, welcome to this uh, very sunny day in Belgium. So it's going to be 30 degrees Celsius today, uh, which is really hot for Belgium. But uh, anyway, I just want to share some experience that I got in my last video uh, when I talked about uh, not installing the update. Um, I want to share my experience as to what happens when you decide to do that, which I did. Um, and what you get is, first of all, every time you get in the car or you stop the car, right, uh, or pretty much every time, you get this uh, little pop-up uh, that uh, says software update, there's new version, install the time, blah, blah, blah. And then you basically have four options. So the first one is to set a certain time. So you use the uh, scroll uh, time thing, thing to, uh, to set the time and then you hit the set for this time button. That's one option. Uh, so you can set it for example for, for later that, that night. Um, you can do the install now and then a two minute countdown timer starts and then it installs automatically. And basically that blocks your car for let's say an hour and 40 minutes uh, each and every time but usually within 30 minutes uh, sometimes it takes a bit longer but usually within 30 minutes uh, it's all resolved and installed um, and secondly when you have the two minute timer and you just can't wait then you can uh, tap four times on the timer and then the timer immediately goes to two seconds and then you install it immediately also be aware of the fact that you cannot install an update while you're charging because the car needs to reboot and especially when supercharging it just says no i won't uh, charge at all uh, because then you would be blocking the supercharger and not even using it uh, at that point so yeah that's that's a good thing that it's not doing that um, the fourth option however is that you just hit the little x on the left top of the uh, of the pop-up and then you just ignore the message. So it's not installing uh, the message or the, the update and it's also not removing the update. So the update keeps there. And as long as you do that, every time you get in or out of the car, out of the car uh, it will show you that pop-up screen, which is quite annoying after, uh, after over a week that I've been doing that, but I just wanted to test this. Um, now, because you get that screen when uh, an update is available how do you know which update is available uh, that was one of the questions that I had so how do I know that I've skipped the version uh, besides calling the service center every uh, few weeks to say okay can you guys see which version is staged for me so I can install the next update um, but it turns out that uh, when a new update is downloaded that you still get the message on your phone saying a software update is available so now I've got that message and know that it's probably the 2018.24.1 update uh, that's now ready, but I've got a message on my phone that another update is ready, uh, which is cool because that allows you to skip one update, uh, for example, or two updates if you want. Um, and you still get notified that the next one is ready. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys um and um yeah again uh if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified of any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye